Okay, what I want to show you is how to create in Lotus Notes a generic email account. For instance, you might want to have an email box so that, um, let's say, for sales, and all sales information is to go into that um, particular email account, or, or maybe you want to have something for customer service, whatever the case might be. Um, instead of setting up and registering a user in your Domino directory, you can actually set up what's called a mail in database. So that gives you the ability just to have an email address going to something into a database which basically doesn't have any person associated with it. So in your Domino directory, you don't end up having a whole lot of accounts that you don't really need to have in there that um, you know have no users associated with them. But by doing this, um, you might have a department, for instance, like sales that may sales that may clear that um, particular one database with the email in it. Okay, so maybe four or five people go into it, but the database doesn't belong to any particular person. It actually belongs to the department. So here's how you create a mail in database. So you open up your Domino directory, and you go into it, <coughs> and then you um, go down the left hand side. So you go configuration, messaging, mail in databases. Okay, and here you can expand the various um, databases that you have, and I can see some of the ones that are there at the moment. And so I can, to create a new one, I can just say add mail in database. Uh, you could actually do this manually you, uh, if you have another database and maybe a user leaves or something like that. You can actually create a mail in database record to that um, actual database if you so wish. So basics we have the mail and name, so I'm just going to say. Um, sales department and description this is a mail database for the sales actually, department and internet address we can call it um, whatever we want so sales at whatever dot com Internet message storage, we can set the preferences here if we want to. Um, the domain, which is our actual Lotus Notes domain. The server that we want to have it on, so you can look up the server address book. So um, I'm just going to put it on to ST1. So it's there. And the file name um, that it's called as well. So at the moment we haven't got a database. If we had one there, we could just... Um, Link to it, but in this case, we're just going to say mail um, testing.nsf. So that's now set up the link, and now all we need to do now, and we can copy and paste this from here copy and paste, copy. So we just go save. So now that's set up. So now all we need to do is create that particular database. So we just go control M or command M on Apple if you're using Apple Mac. Um, so this is Windows, so control M. No, sorry I'm taking the wrong thing. Control N for new. Control N. So we put in that server which was ST1. Um, we'll say sales mail database. And here we're going to put what we copied and pasted. Okay. And we go down our list here and we find a template that suits us. So if I type in M for mail, we'll go straight to it. So I'm going to say mail 8.5. And then I can just click on OK. So now it's creating. That particular database. So now the mail file has been created. I just push escape and by default it's got that open there for me. Okay, so if I now go control M for new memo or new email, and of course it doesn't seem to be wanting to do it for me, um, I'll just go back to my mail database and go new. up with a new message and if I type in sales it's going to look up my address book and it's going to pull that out if, particularly if I spell it right. It's going to offer me a list of options. I 
can't see it there yet, so I'll just keep typing. So that was the part that I enter. So there we go. So it's now found that. So I can just type in here test and I can send the email. And I can go back to the sales mail database. And in here, if I refresh it, I should see an email appear. There we go. So there's a Maryland database.